All right, what's he gonna do now? Wait, he's gonna kill himself? What? What? Ah! Hey, I'm Super Senpai. Today, we're gonna be talking about my favorite deck, Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon. Now, if you don't know about this about me, I'm a huge Yu-Gi-Oh guy. I've been to tournaments, I used to compete a lot, I used to get tops. This is a deck based on the deck I used to play two years ago. I haven't played Yu-Gi-Oh since, so. A lot of things are new to me. Um, Master Duel is a great game for you to get back right into Yu-Gi-Oh. This is Odd Eyes Pendulum Dragon, Magician, Kaiju, Luna, 60 card deck. You'll be like, what the hell? Why is it 60 card deck? And the funniest thing is, this goes second. So, woo, you're gonna have a fun ride looking at this deck. So let's get this started. Um, it's a lot. So we have to go through a lot of different cards for you guys to see how we built this deck. In All Eyes Pendulum Dragon, your goal is to make sure you play with the Magicians and you play with All Eyes to make combos out and go for a game as fast as you can. First off, we got Odd Eyes Unicorn, which you will think this is a stupid card, but so much synergy with Wisdom Eye for scaling. It goes well with Sky Iris because of the touch you can get is a scale eight. This is a great card for you to use. So I know people were skeptical on this card, but this card is really good in this kind of deck. Next up, you got Maxi. Maxi is obvious. This should be banned. So if it gets banned, there's quite a few other cards here I would recommend you to replace it with. Time Breaker Magician is a card a lot of people don't know of. This is a really good technical card to get out of situations. So the first effect's okay. If you special summon it only, it gets double the attack, but that's not the important one. The important one is you can target one monster your opponent's side of the field and banish that card and this card. So this card is a free removal. So if your opponent has like a boss monster in the field and you can target it, you can banish both of them. You can force a bait out or if they're banned, you clear out the field. So this is a really good technical and it's a low scale too. Wisdom Eye is so important in this deck because you there's a lot of scales in this deck. So you want to get a good scale and fix it up as a way. So Wisdom can get any other magician to match it so you can special summon everything in one go. Wisdom in combination with Oath is such a big combo because Wisdom pops, goes to uh, double Iris. You just circle this around and the Oath grabs Wisdom from the deck, extra deck, back to your hand. This becomes live. This allows you to not rely on too many monsters special from the extra deck because of the Pendulum, because of the Link roll. You can only special summon from the Link zones, um, or I guess the extra deck zone. So this allows you to bring back Pendulums to special summon as many as you can, as the old good days for Pendulum because special a bunch of monster well consequences. Skull Quebec Joker. This is so good. I don't know why they unbanned it. Um, Gray Scale works with Wisdom Eye, as said before with the uh, Odd Eyes Unicorn. But this normal summons grab you any car you want. So any magician, any odd eyes. So odd eyes you can get this, or you can get one of my favorites, Dissolver. If you attack, Dissolver gets activated in damage step, and you can special summon it. Then you can use it as your 2000 damage, that's a lot. Or use it as a fusion ability, because that's his ability. You can fusion summon Vortex out of it. So Skull is so flexible to get the right scales, or you know, get the hand trap you want, or Get all the ice if you want to go for rank sevens. Harmonizing is obvious, such a good card. Special summon an additional magician from the deck. It's a tuner, so you can synchro, you can next Z, you can link. Such a good card. There's a reason why it's limited to two. Double Iris, great card. I wish it was more than one, but it allows you to get your spells, including Star Pend Pendulum Graph and Time Pendulum Graph, which are so important for this deck. This allows you plus if a magician leaves the field. Even Time Breaker when it banishes it. If this is on the field, you plus, which is insane. This allows you to pop one card, one for one, one card yours, one on your opponent, but in combo with Time Star Magician, protect your spells, or I guess Pendulum Zones, and then you get to remove one additional card from the field. Um, it is not targeting and not destruction. So, that is such a good combo with Time Star if you can pull it off. It's a bit tricky because you don't have one double iris. Black Fang at three, Purple Poison at three. Since we're playing 60 cards, it doesn't matter you're playing too many. And these cards are really good even if you play a normal deck. Black Fang. You can half of your opponents and monsters attack if it's in the pendulum zone. If it's destroyed, you can special summon Magician from the graveyard. So if you were to XZ summon, everything's live and it's pluses for you. And the funniest thing is if someone negates Black Fang, their effect so goes off because they're destroyed. So it is insane, like how how like you know how it floats in terms of the effect. But Black Fang is so good to bring back monsters, and I I love it. 
poison just pops things all day. It's on face up. If you don't know what to do, put it face down defense so your opponent pop it. If you know what to do, you can put it in your zone. Let's say Black Fang goes for attack. Uh, this girl can um, boost the attack by 1200. And then it can pop itself and then pop a car in the field too. So it's so good from there. And that Luna. Luna is, in my opinion, the MVP of this deck. Because in the format of Master Duel, you cannot, well, you only have one duel to play. So you don't know what your opponent's going to play. You don't know what the situation is. So if you want to fake out your opponent and going second, you play Luna to grab Luna. That's one of the abilities. And your opponent thinks you're not playing Pendulum at all. So they'll try to negate Luna. And at the, as a consequence of that, if they commit any negations, your spells are all alive. You can plus off that. And it's a level four. So you can link, you can XE. It's so good. And the best combo is Kaiju. If you have a Kaiju and Luna on the hand, Kaiju gets special summon to your opponent's side of field. Luna normals, Luna grabs an air Luna from hand. Luna bounces the Kaiju. Kaiju goes back to your hand because most likely your opponent will not have Kumungus. And you get Luna back to your hand. Pendulum summon all again. You get two monsters, two Lunas on the field. And if you feel like ballsy enough, you get another Kaiju. Or you can use the Kaiju again to tribute another monster and then bounce it again. It's just so much synergy with Pendulums and Luna and Kaijus. Altai's Light has won me games, which is weird because uh, its pendulum effect is if it's a zone, then if you have another pendulum card, like let's say Black Fang or Double Iris, if they, it can destroy it to special summon itself to block attack. But Pendulum Graph is a thing, which is awesome. Which um, if a magician leaves a field, you plus. So it's a plus situation. It's a three scale, so you can summon all your monsters, and Sky Iris can search, so it's a great card. The Oath Dragon, it's great. I told you about the combo with Wisdom with Oath. You just plus for days, grab the right monsters, and if you special summon the field, you grab one of the monsters that will send the graveyard back to your hand. Awesome. Chrono is, you special it. It's okay, but it's, it's just a special summon, special summon, so if a pen skills destroy, you can special summon, then special another monster, and then you can go for uh, Electromite, for example. So this is Electromite, so it's nice. All that is the most important card in the deck because it's level 7 and because it's a sexy dragon, that's why I love it. Um, the double damage effect actually comes into play a lot in Link Era, but you use it as material for uh, Absolute All that is 0, Vortex, but it's a 25k beater, so you can't beat that, so it's great. And then Kumongus, level 7, great synergy with all these. Astrograph is a great card. Um, there's a lot of combos you can look it up, but this allows you to enable uh, pluses like days and special summon itself. It's great. Pregatops is so good, just like Luna. No one knows what to expect. They when they see it, they have to out it. Allows you to open up your pendulum plays. The Zolver I said before is basically kind of like an honest, I guess. Not really, but um, it's a free monster on the field. Protects your monster even if you're attacking or they're attacking you. You protect the monster and then you can fusion after, so that's amazing. Then you got your one ofs Monster Reborn, I know a lot of people be like, why the hell do you have that? These two you get, but this one's because if I can steal your, my opponent's Link monster, or uh, a poor monster in the graveyard, why not? Pen Call, always, always important. You grab two right scales you want, and they can't be destroyed this turn. And Paw Desires is the big reason why I built this deck. Originally when I built this deck, I thought, you know, people will think this is Life Swarm, but in Master Duel, no one even look at your deck size, so they wouldn't think you're life sworn. But I still like the fact that if you play 60 cards, you play Paw Desires, no matter what you do, it's always going to be a plus. Duelist Alliance is a great card because you can grab either Star, Time, Sky Iris, protect your scales, and um, yeah, good card in general. And you can grab whatever card you need in general, and good synergy with Star because you pop a Magician, you plus from that. So it's a great card. Evenly match wins you games. Especially if you're going second, place on the field, everything destroyed, pendulum summons, you're good. Um, i rather go second, and even if you go first, evenly is still a pretty good choice because of the fact that you don't want to show your opponent you have, uh, if you have pendulums, it's hard to build a really strong board against your opponents. So I would rather, you know, play evenly, wait it, bait it out, and then when your opponent goes to battle phase and use it, and not much they can do. This card, Infinite Imperance, is a card I've been debating for so long. I thought of Ash, I played Ash in Master Duel, and unfortunately, a lot of people have this card. Crossout Designator is a card I can't beat with Ash because everyone plays Ash, and therefore, if you play Crossout, you negate Ash, GG. 
So especially in a format like this, where you don't know what your opponents are gonna play, you rather play a card your opponent wouldn't match you, cross out would be eliminated. Infinite has two reasons you play. One is you can negate a monster in the field right off the bat, which is awesome. But two, if your opponent, I, I've lost games a lot because of Imperial Order, Anti-Spell Fragrance. If you do this in the Imperial Show, you can set the card and when you're ready to move, you can activate it to negate one monster effect. You don't even have to need to negate it, just negate it and you negate the column spells and traps. So this is a really good out against those. So I like this a lot more than Ash because it's so flexible both sides for Pendulum deck. And then time, obviously time is great. Combo with uh, Time Star, GG. Now for the extra deck. Allies Vortex 2 is great. Such a great card. Negator, uh, Beater, uh, Bouncer, if you special something in the right turn. Such a good card. You can't go wrong with it. 2 I think is a good mix. Supreme King Dragon, I like a lot. Like This is the best single card you can ever summon this deck because as soon as it summons, you pop every monster on your opponent's side of the field and if it attacks your opponent's monster, you can destroy it and then do damage to the monster's attack. So even if you can't go over a monster, you can pop it and then you go. You can do the flick damage. I know a lot of people keep recommending this card. I hate it. I, I, I just can't, like it's so hard to link and then link again and then summon this, it's just, such a pain to do this. I don't I don't like the commitment, but it's recommended. I will pick Red Eyes Flare over that. I, I'll be honest. I'm at a point where I might actually switch this out because Red Eyes Flare does a lot of passive damage that a lot of people don't expect. And especially in Master Duel, Time Star, you plus by grabbing cards to the field and you protect your scales. Such a great card. And you can grab even Astro, Dissolver, such a good card. Supreme Dragon is a card no one knows about, or a lot of people don't. When you attack, before damage calculation, you attach one, you make your opponent's attack to zero, and then and you increase your attack by that. In damage step, it's really hard to negate unless you have a counter. So this is probably instant 5k damage in most scenarios. So that's a great card to just go by, surprise people, and GG. Number 41 is great when you're playing first and you're not sure what to do. You can slow down your opponents right off the bat. Or when you do a lot of damage and you don't want to... You're almost there, but you don't want to... You're where your opponent can come back. You pop this guy in the field, then your opponents are forced to rely on spells and traps and link monsters. Absolute Zero, you use it as a XZ for level 7s, and then use it as a link material. Once it goes to the graveyard, you can special summon Vortex. So much synergy there. Electromite, we all know how good that card is, so don't need to explain that one, just plus for days. IP is really strong. I love this card, Underworld Goddess. Basically, you can use your opponent's monster just like a Cyber Dragon would, and then, yeah. Just take it away. It's immune to quite a few things that gave effects. Such a good card, especially with the IP. You can flip the switch anytime your opponent's main phase, so it screws up their whole combo. And the IP is good because, you know, non link monsters, so you can just summon any monster. So you can do the absolute zero if you don't have another link monster. It's easy. Deco Talker, I'm not a big fan. I just needed something to go from Electromite to Deco Talker with zero. Bore a lower dragon. I don't use that often, but. I feel like when this scenario happens, I'll use it. Bow is really good. Negator of chains of monster effects. So in this meta, yeah, this is really good. And then we talk about her. So it's great. So this is the deck. And I'm sorry it took so long to talk about, but 60 cards is a lot of explanation here. Now let's talk about cards you will recommend. And Ash is a good card to recommend, but because of Cross Out, I'm worried about that effect. Call by a Grave was a card I've been very heavily wanting to play. And I feel like it's really good. The only issue is you can only use it on your turn um, or you can set it on your opponent's turn but I feel like it'll be too late when that happens so I, I'm iffy. I could I could replace this over Infinity um, if I had the opportunity. Dinko Seconds card I've always loved when I was playing in the competitive field. Because of the meta I feel like it's too slow. And for extra deck I would recommend Ignicer I will like more than Borsor because you could pop and then spin. Great card but I, I, I may even switch to that one. Omega is a good choice. Red Flare, you already know my love for that. Tornado is a card I really, really want to try because I used to play this and Pop a Spell's Trap, you can't go wrong with that with level fours. Sari Joe's all right. Black Luster, you can do with this deck. I just don't think it's rewarding enough to do this. And Zeus is a card I thought of, but I read it that you have to attack a monster with XE monster, then you can summon it. And the Pendulum deck, you don't want to lose your field presence, so. I tried, but not really. I thought of using this card, but in this meta it doesn't work that well. This one's just a win more. Dweller is a good card, and it is one of my top choices to use to experiment, but I'm iffy and time cooler too. And lastly, 
Droll is a choice, but I feel like it's too slow in this meta. And no more ruler forbidden drop. I, I'm not a big fan of waiting for your toner because this deck is built to win now. It's not built to wait. So this is my deck and I really love this deck a lot and I hope you guys do enjoy it. But is it really a platinum deck? I made the platinum with it, so I'm going to say so, but yeah, this meta is really hard against this deck. Other than that, thank you for watching, and I'm going to show you some clips of how this deck works. And if you enjoyed this video, you know, I probably won't make any more Yu-Gi-Oh videos, but it's just because I built this deck when I started playing Yu-Gi-Oh, so this this has a big soft spot for me. So I do hope you guys try out this deck and, you know, play and have fun, because this is a really great deck overall. So if you like dragons, you like pendulums, play Odd Eyes, Pendulum, Dragon, 60 cards, Magician, Luna, Kaiju, deck. I should just call it Pod Desire deck. <laughs>